country's maturing um, and just how kind of the conversations we have now to like you know about a year ago it's it, it, it really is like my you know I've got a sister mm -hmm. I'm deeply much encouraged by mm. how God can protect her through her teen phase and mm. you know, her friendships mm. and, you know, and uh, obviously a big um, you know, thank you to the encouragement that those who've been baptised as young people are to us. Mm -hmm. um, Elliot sitting here, they've done an incredible job of preachings. Mm -hmm. um, and there's others. Um, <coughs> Breaks out and jumped in the cold while busy with them um, many moons ago, <coughs> or a few years ago. But uh, that is so exciting, and it's amazing to see them influencing their generation. Um, very special, and yeah, that's why. Thank you. I think it's follow that from Kay. Come from Kay, maybe um, just in the same line. Joshua got baptized this year, and we really encouraged by his um, his, his boots as well, and just how he leads even at home with his brother, setting the right example. So we're grateful for for that. It's wonderful. I mean, Josh and Bea, actually, they are a gift from God. Obviously, I mean, anybody who decides to be a Christian is a gift from God, but it's very, very, very exciting for us to think that these young people are, you know, they're starting something amazing for their generation. So uh, that is very special. Thank you for mentioning that. Yes, thank you. Yes, please. Come. I'm just really excited um, that I'm like an adoptive grandmother <laughs> with Tim and Tash. Just mm. all all the struggles that they've yeah. been through to have their yeah. baby, and yeah. they've got really mm. blessed on this year. So that's really yeah. Excellent. I think that's one thing I remember from this year. I think mm. yeah. so they years and years of mm. travel out here, yeah, all kinds mm. of stuff to have Jake arrive. Mm. Very special, yeah. Thank you for mentioning mm. Yes, this is wonderful, absolutely wonderful. Mm. And uh, how good it is to thank God for these sort of things. Mm. Um, what else can we hear? Yes, Joe, please. Um, I guess it came up more towards the end of the year, but I'm actually really excited about the the direction I feel that we're taking for helping the poor, the needy in the community. I think it's something that's. Um, developing in a different way. It's obviously always been there with the work we've done with her. <coughs> Nepal, you know, just incredible things that we see that have been done there. And now having Michelle come and talk to us about specific things in the community, it feels like something has shifted this year and that we can then go into the new year with new ideas and new plans. Yeah, it's a wonderful thing to have direction, isn't it? And to feel that God is leading us is really special. Adja, thank you for what you've done with the, uh, the one can trust as well. That's wonderful. Very exciting stuff. Anything else? Yes, please. Uh, about the Indian families, so even it was so hard for, for us to kind of like out uh, what happened in Johnson's family. Uh, a few years ago and then so Cecily came here and then they settled down and then so it's like because they needed to go back to India so it was a big big kind of like empty place in our hearts but um, to see how well they have settled down there so it's um, Joan's birthday tomorrow 11th birthday and wow. they sent to how old maybe? Hmm? Hell, we held. Uh, Eleven. 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 So yeah. So yeah. we we got them uh, photos of the Christmas tree and just like everything is ready for tomorrow and like mm -hmm. so we are not there singing with them but at least we have uh, Joshua and Pula here and baby Joel. Yeah. <laughs> so a joy. Yeah. What was Joel born? Uh, so in March. So she's Very nine much. months old now and then she's <coughs> walking already. Wonderful. Wow. <laughs> and how exciting is to have Josh and do that. Yeah. Um, Dorothy said to me when, when she was writing the end, she said to me, don't worry about Bula, she'll be fine. Mm. Mm. Give her and, uh, time. Yeah. Give her time. Mm. Yeah, thank you. And thank you for what you've done mm. yeah. um, to encourage her. It's very special. Yes. I think just looking around the room, it's great to have Steve and Sharon back. Oh, yes. 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 Yes
all the way from Zambia and how much of an inspiration yeah. you and the whole family, the whole four of you have been to us back here. And it's just wonderful to have you back with us. It's very really exciting. Yeah, please yeah. do. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah, this, this is going to be the year I remember us coming back, like 2015 was the year we left, 2018 is the year we came back. But what I wanted to share, which maybe a lot of you don't know, is that we, we didn't know when we went in 2015, we didn't know how long we'd stay, but we decided we would stay a year, and then we'd see after that. So the second year, and probably even a bit of this year, we were very up and down, I mean, literally from week to week. One week would be like, we're going back definitely, we need to go back, and then the next week would be like, no, we need to stay. <laughs> and this honestly went on for about a year, and it was driving me mad, because I, just, I couldn't make any plans. And anyway, a lot of you know my mom had you know, a stroke last year. And, um, so basically, we decided you know, we needed to come back. And it's right, it, it felt like the right thing to do. But we were very concerned about leaving Hope, because uh, we were doing a lot of the stuff ourselves. The staff had had a lot of training, but they didn't have anybody that could step in as a country director. So I just prayed about it, and then there were, I, know, I think we advertised a lot. Um, we're trying to get people to come in from, from there were three people actually that they that looked quite keen, and they started doing uh, interviews on Skype. And none of them really worked out for various reasons. Um, and so one of the people, one of the ladies called Doreen Walia, who was on the whole board, actually stepped in um, when we left. I didn't even know she was going to do it because she did it after we left. And she has just done an amazing job in the last few months. So I'm going to ask you to please pray for her. She's had to learn a lot to Doreen Walia, and she's, she's been amazing. I mean, she's just working out and to me I'm thinking well I don't know if we need to continue trying to do interviews yeah. and that because she just seems to be doing a great job so yeah. it's great for her. Thanks yeah. Sharon. That's, uh, well we've been so excited to have you back and to have Sam and Alex here as one of the looks. Really really happy. <coughs> Lovely to see the credit you and Steve. And Steve is in Zambia now is that correct? Wow. Mm -hmm. Wow wonderful to have you back. Wonderful yeah. have been. Yeah, very exciting. Should be. I just want to say also it was wonderful to have Ruby baptized. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. Kate Ruby's sitting over there yeah. beside Mary Carr. And uh, I know Paige was the person God used to reach out to you, wasn't she? Yeah. And uh, it, was, I, it was just wonderful to have you. You live in Yately, which is amazing. <laughs> you didn't live in Yately when Paige you reached out to you, did you? <coughs> Frimley then. Yeah. But now you live in Yately, and it's amazing just to be able to drop around to see you, and it's only a five minute drive, which for Thames Valley is pretty amazing. Yeah, that is pretty yeah. amazing. <laughs> and um, I also just think it's exciting to, to have had um, Luke and Deepa and mm. little Sarah join us from yeah. Singapore yeah. at the beginning of the year. And to oh, see so how you've been, been so committed, how it's, you're a great example. Just I know it's difficult that drive, it's worse sometimes than others. But just to see you always here and always smiling and always giving, mm. and uh, just as well how hospitable you are to so many of us. Mm. It's just a great excuse to go to London. <laughs> and, uh, you know, this is the Natural History Museum where you can live right next to it. <laughs> and uh, also to have G here. Mm, G yeah. joined us too in September. And uh, just again, I think you're a great example too of your commitment. I know your work as a doctor is very intense in Basingstoke Hospital. And you're in there at half seven in the morning and you're still in there at half nine at night oh. sometimes. And, uh, you know, I just think, again, you're, you're a great example, G to all of, all of us. Um, and then Michael as well coming to join yeah. with us too. Go on, Michael. And I know while they you and Matthew uh, has really, you know, you you and Michael have a great relationship. It's just mm -hmm. I think it's amazing how God has blessed us mm -hmm. as a group with you guys mm -hmm. in, in this year. Let's uh, not forget to thank God for great things that have happened this year. Clearly from uh, what we read here in Luke 17, you know, Jesus knows he's when we're grateful. And we, you know, weren't there, weren't there ten, I healed only one, a Samaritan has come back, so thank you. 
Um, and of course, I don't feel like you need to mention everything that has been mentioned, but which you just use in prayer. Um, and do your best to thank God for what's happened in 2018. <laughs> <laughs> I think I just lost my one. <laughs> so, Heavenly Father, thank you so much that you have heard us. Uh, you just like to remember us, even, even just, I don't remember all things that um, you were just uh, sharing. Uh, but it's just so amazing that um, Jamie and Maria got married. And it's like you are in the central point of, of that marriage. And soon the, the maze will be one more. Mm -hmm. So we are just praying for the little addition mm -hmm. to come. Um, and I just um, pray for, for Steve and Sharon and the, the boys. And it's just like they're so grateful that they are back. Mm -hmm. and, um, and just like this lady who is uh, doing the job there in, in Hope. So sometimes we just need to, because we, we are doing something and we think that we are so special and we are so excellent. And then nobody can kind of like replace us. But then when we step out, there will be people doing things even better than we have done. And it's amazing to know that um, so we needed uh, Steve and Sharon here and then so you, you replaced them there. So... Um, uh, Thank you for, for all the teens that have been baptized and, mm -hmm. and then the grown-ups as well. So everybody who have, um, who have kind of like um, uh, joined to the, to the family and, and just like um, are part of the congregation now. So it's, it's really, really um, awesome to welcome always the, the new people and just like the new teens, especially because they are just um, growing, um, growing at church and... and Hopefully they will just like have a good start and, and that, that will um, lead them to the good life as well. So thank you for the whole work that uh, we are doing locally as well. So uh, and the, of course the work that um, John has been doing in Nepal and then all the visitors who have been there. And, um, and so that um, especially Alex at the moment traveling there. Mm -hmm. So um, we are very excited about that. And, and then the Harvey Gong has been doing a lot of work here in England, and then now Michelle and Albert are, are doing things so that um, we, can, we can help locally as well. So thank you for bringing Michael here. So he's the good example. So whenever I have any trouble, I think at least I can see. So I just like, what, what? so he's, he's always so joyful and he's a lovely addition to, to this family. So I pray for um, the babies, Joel and um, Jay. Is it Jay? Jay. Yeah. So, um, so, and their parents, so keep them safe and, and sane. And, and just, um, I pray for, um, who else I need to remember to pray? Um, thank you for those people who have moved uh, from Singapore and then from Chile, wherever she came from. And then, so then the, the new services in, in South. So, um, Lord, it's amazing to see, um, once again, one year later. So every year we are sitting here and then there's always, of course, things that should have been better, but then you are in control. So help us to kind of like understand that you will take care of every single one of us. And then help us to be grateful for those things that are going good and are, are going well. So I pray, pray, I pray that you will bless all of us the rest of this year and then have a good start for the next year. So thank you for being our loving Father who is loving us unconditionally. I pray these things in your son's name. Amen. Amen. Thank you. <coughs> Looking ahead is uh, a bit nerve-wracking sometimes. Um, God is guiding us ahead. Um, we're about to go into 2019. Um, very exciting, very exciting year. There's a, a scripture here that I think really is helpful for us to, helpful for us to read in James chapter 1. It says, uh, in verse 5 it says, James 1 verse 5, If any of you lacks wisdom, 
he should ask God, who gives generously to all without finding fault, and it will be given to you. And when you ask, you must believe and not doubt, because the one who doubts is like a wave in the sea, blown and tossed by the wind. Um, as we uh, look ahead, um, God is guiding. Um, I think God's the most guiding us as a ministry. Um, it's been uh, very exciting seeing the ministry. I didn't expect we were going to have all these venue problems uh, this year, um, but suddenly I think we first suddenly found out in one weekend that we could no longer meet in the other room. Um, and here we are. Um, but it's wonderful to think that we can pray and ask God um, for the time ahead. For me personally, I think that um, I'm very excited about where the church is going. I'm not really sure where the church is going, <laughs> um, but it's going somewhere. Um, and God is, is guiding us, and that's a really wonderful thing. I think that I look forward this year to just really getting a clearer picture, which we can focus together on, um, put our minds together on, pray about together, and um, focus and move ahead, which should be great. But I wonder if there are some other things that you feel like would be good just uh, to mention now as we... So think about this year ahead, things that will be good for us individually to pray about, maybe things that will be good for us uh, to be aware of in each other's lives that we could be praying for. Um, other things, please, if we could just think of, think of some things to pray for on this year ahead. Joe, please. I know John um, is studying the Bible and he's very excited hearing that the Bible is getting baptised. So he seems to be responding well in his study, so I'm praying that possibly the year ahead will be a year to see him happen. Yeah. I'm excited about that. Wonderful thing. Wonderful watching young people find their spiritual roots. Yeah, it's great, thank you. What else do we have? I'm excited about the theme we have for next year, because as you say, we don't quite know where God's going to lead us or what's going to happen, but I really love our theme scripture, which is being built together to become a dwelling in which God lives by his, his spirit. It's at the top of the, the new calendar from Ephesians 2.22. And I think as well, I'm really excited just about our objectives for the new year, just to build a community who are close to God and inspired to tell others about him. To build, build being the word here, to build friendships by having time for those God puts in our paths to build together and continue to strengthen and encourage the local ministries and to build up the next generation of men and women leaders, the young ones, the younger ones mm -hmm. amongst us. And I'm really excited about that. And on that note, for the first time, we're having um, a young peeps retreat mm -hmm. in May. You might have spotted it. It's on here on this <coughs> calendar. And TJ and Sonia are coming over, TJ and wow. Sonia Louis from Singapore. Um, and we're going to have TJ preach to us as well in the university in Reading on the first Sunday of May then too. So that, I just really think there's a lot of great stuff on, on the calendar, a lot of plans. Um, but obviously God is the one who will guide. Um, but I'm, I'm excited about that for next year. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, very excited. <clears throat> um, our, our young people are definitely very um, inspiring. Um, Heine can be in kind of the anchor of an amazing role. We're starting the, the young peeps, the family group. Very exciting. Um, so all these good things. Yeah, let's certainly pray for those things as well. Thank you, Shelby. Yeah, and the else, we go ahead. I'm starting a job in Southampton. In You're finally going to have a job. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! <laughs>
Yeah, in September, so I'll be kind of, I don't know, in that area. Yeah. Should we be in Chandler's? In Totten and Lindhurst, to be precise. Yeah. Yeah, it's funny. Yeah. Where the ponies just wander across the road. If anyone wants a country. <laughs> yeah. I would just add to that, because we, we've been praying for a while, and because we, uh, we've been praying for disciples to move down from somewhere, Singapore, London, wherever they want to come from. <laughs> so we've actually had Bola and L- Lolu move down, but they're still 45 minutes away. So. But it's okay. It's sort of a sort of in, in our triangle there of locations. But um, I think um, you know, with our church, because we are so small and scattered, we need critical mass. So yeah, so pray for strong couples to move from somewhere <laughs> that's really near us. Because I think that's that's what we we personally need. Um, you know, more couples that can that that can just do things when they arrive and not you know and then hopefully we can you know have more conversions but that's what we need. Amen. So we're praying for that. <laughs> I'll just take it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, very exciting. I think just how you end up as well down where you are through Robert's connections with his um, historic, <laughs> historic. Well, the adoptive grandparents or what? Legal guardians. Legal guardians. Yeah, amazing. So it's all, all makes sense. <coughs> no, I just think I think it's a good point. I think one thing to add on to that. One of the things I think that really stands out about what happened in Bournemouth and partly see it happened there so where there was a church in London that grew a lot in the 80s and 90s. Lots of people left that church, but they have sort of scattered around the countryside. And although they left the church at the time, some of them, I think in Bournemouth specifically, have come back to the church. Yeah. And uh, even in Alton, there's um, a lady who Karen links up with who used to be in the church in London, who's now coming along to our family groups. And I think that's a real thing to pray for is just you know there are people who have been Christians out there who left the church and it's great to see you know it's almost like God planned it we couldn't build a church across the UK so he sort of scattered scattered the disappoint or whatever it is almost by some strange mean and you know to pray for that to continue to happen and that's how people do show up in places like Chandler's Ford and you know all the big churches so I think that's almost something yeah. to yeah, very special. <clears throat> Something I think as well that's probably special to all of us is, um, you know, where God is working with Ethan. Um, Dennis and Liz have shared so wonderfully about that. But, uh, you know, just continue to pray for him. I know it's very special to send him a car this week and, you know, to wish him happy Christmas and... Uh, it's one thing God is working through all these um, strange situations. Very special. So that's something year ahead. Please. Yeah, um, yeah, we have two teens down south studying the Bible. Nick, um, Viola, Paul's son, studying the Bible. And also Raph, right. who's also studying the Bible. So let me pray that they make the right decision to get baptized. Mm-hmm. And also, I have um, a chap who I met. I went. I was assigned to teach in a school a while ago, so I met him. His name is um, Jerry. And Santos Jerry. So he's given contribution twice to the church. Because, <laughs> <laughs> because um, we feel compelled that um, God is doing a great thing in, in Salisbury. He lives in Salisbury, I met him in Totten. <laughs> so when he got to know that um, this, we do have services in Totten, he came twice to me and handed contribution to the church. Yeah. But he said he, he feels compelled to give because of the work in Salisbury. So his name is Jerry, Jerry Santos. Uh, let me pray for him to study the Bible. Wonderful. Yeah. Wonderful. God he's a, he's is a science teacher. God is moving. Yeah. And he's a, he teaches what? Science. Wonderful. <coughs> Very good.
And yes, we should bear in mind for our year ahead. It's really we pray for the South, South African churches. <coughs> I found it interesting your, uh, your theme for next year. Our theme actually is. Um, Almost next year is, is thriving by the family groups. So the whole concept of uh, you know being the church in your family group. But we're looking at three areas uh, where we uh, uh, looking at loving, growing, and working. Working as in you know Jesus came here to do His work, and we need to find out what our work is. So that's kind of our to create a thriving family group. We uh, we're going to be looking at within the family group, love, grow, and work for, for, you know, do the work of Jesus. So similar thing, you know, go out there, just be the church. So when we think of South Africa, we should think of you having a a theme of um, a thriving. Thri- thriving family group. Okay, thriving families. Thank you. That's great. Um, wonderful. Anyhow, sure. Yeah, Michelle's been uh, doing a great job. She's been also giving out uh, the book uh, called uh, Servolution, which is about uh, a church in America that uh, decided they were just serving the community. And uh, it's, uh, it's an interesting concept that... Uh, what what it says if you don't focus on just trying to grow a church but you serve in your community then the church will grow and uh, just an example of that uh, my last trip to Nepal uh, I had a call from uh, a guy that used to come along to Isha uh, and he said could my son come with you to Nepal this time, he's looking at organising a tour next summer. Uh, he, he has a website with about 40,000 followers, a travel website. Uh, so I said, yeah, he, he can come. Uh, his name's Elliot, uh, so you can pray for Good him. <laughs> but we had some amazing spiritual conversations while he was there. Uh, and. Uh, he, he asked me, he said, I'm really inspired by what's happening here. Uh, and, and he said, how can I, he said, I, I need to find God more. How can I do that? And, and I said, well, a good place to start is reading the Bible. So he said, well, I'll, I'll read it from cover to cover. <laughs> so I said, I, I appreciate your heart, but I said, that's probably not the best way to start. I said, why don't you start with Mark's gospel? His dad's a tennis coach. So I said to him, you know, just like your dad coaches people, I said, sometimes it's helpful, if you're not aware of the Bible, to have somebody kind of... And I said, I'd be happy to get with you once a week and do that. He said, that would be fabulous. And so we've set up to get together this next week. He's just been travelling again. But uh, if you could pray for Elliot... I, I, he's 18 so I spoke to his dad and told him this is what I plan to do and his dad said maybe you can help me spiritually as well, <laughs> <laughs> well thanks thanks John Tony would you close out with a prayer <clears throat> Father God Lord thank you so much we could have this time together Lord to, to look back on last year but also to look forward to, to, to next year. God, we, uh, you know, there's so many wonderful things that you've done, Lord, and, and yet there's so many more opportunities lie in the year ahead. God, there's, uh, you know, there's family members, teens of our uh, own families who are starting to, to, to study the Bible, God, and, uh, and Lord, are starting to, to, to find their own spiritual growth, God. And we pray you continue to work to build up, uh, you know, a very exciting uh, young people's ministry, God. Lord, we know just that uh, the young people in general, God, there's so many opportunities, God, for for you to work powerfully through, not just teens, but people who are growing into their 20s now, God. And uh, Lord, I know that that's, a, that's a exciting for all of us to see the next, the future of the kingdom of God, Lord, on earth, Lord, through those people. Lord, I pray you continue to work through that. God, I just thank you just for, you know, just 
for the things that are happening geographically, God, and just, um, Lord, I pray that, uh, you know, you continue to, to, to build our various locations up, God, and to, to, to help us to, 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 to be, have our eyes open, Lord, to, to those around us, God, who are seeking you, Lord, and to, to, to continue to work in, those, in that way, God. And I pray just also for our, our sense of uh, wanting to work in a community, God, and to, to, to love those around us, God, and to, to not just offer, you know, well-meaning words, but actually to actively be involved in more than understanding the needs of people around us, God, and to, to play a part in this in those needs. God, thanks so much just for the love in this room, God, for your incredible spirit that binds us, God, and for just a, a fantastic sense of unity and purpose, God. Even though we don't know exactly where we're going, God, Lord, we know that you want us to... to to go out, God, and, and to, to teach the gospel, God, and to, to, to know that you'll be with us wherever we go and we follow your, your commands, God. And I pray, Lord, that just no matter where that is, God, whether it be amongst the people in our communities, whether the people in the hospital, God, whether the people who are facing difficulties in life, we'll continue to do that with zeal and enthusiasm. But thanks so much, just to say, for the love and truth and for your son, Jesus, and I pray in son's name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Zoni. Um, sorry about over time, I think. I'm resuming, but thank you. It's a good time. Yeah. Thank you.